everyone so we are going to start with our first activity that is called smart snacking choices where we are going to evaluate different snack options based on their nutritional information so the snack that i have choose is apple a granola bar potato chips yogurt and dark chocolate so i'm going to create a food chart like a table to compare these snacks you guys can use canva to create this table I'm I also putting calories and sugar so I can compare them more easier. Okay. So I'm done and here's the table that I have created and I can analyze that uh apple and yogurt seem to be the healthiest option compared to the other snacks. Yeah, you guys can see right. So uh my reflection on this activity is uh we can see how critical thinking plays a vital role in everyday decisions uh, enabling us to compare options and choose the best one for our health so that's the end for the activity hello everyone so we are going to start with our second activity that is called organizing your study space so this is one of the current issues that students and professionals are facing so uh, as you can see my study space is kind of messy too so we are going to start by list down the non by the essential and non essential things that we want on our table so i have done several like this yeah you can see right and after we have after we have list down what we what is on the table, we can start by removing uh, the non essential thing. So, as you can see, my study table is now more arranged. So, uh, the reflection that I get from this activity is uh, by prioritizing my items on the table, there's a significant improvement in my focus and productivity. Uh, it also helps me to reduce stress. And this activity emphasizes the critical, the critical thinking skills of organization and prioritization, which are essential for academic success. So that's the end of the activity too. Thank you. Hello everyone. So we are going to start with the third activity that is called bullying breakdown. Bullying is one of the current issues that is happening nowadays. So we are going to start the activity by taking a look at the specific scenario, break it down and use a mind map to understand it better. So this is the scenario that I have, that I have choose and after reading this scenario, I'm going to identify the key factors. And after that, I'm, I'm going to use a mind map to represent it. And you guys can use any apps and I'm using Ibis Pen to create this mind map. And yeah, this is my mind map. I'm done. So, the reflection that I get from this activity is this mind map helps us to see how everything is related and makes the problem clearer and I, and I also can start thinking about how to stop bullying and by identifying the root causes of bullying it involves a critical thinking and examination of various factors that contribute to this behaviour so that's the end of the third activity Okay, moving on to the next current issue that is water shortage. In this last activity that is called Save Every Drop, I'm going to show you how to reduce water with simple habits. We are going to use a timer to limit our use of water. Let's start. So, as you can see here, I'm going to wash the dishes in just 4 minutes. Not only you can use this on washing the dishes, but you can also use these habits when you are brushing teeth and also when you are taking a shower. And when the time limit starts to ring, you can turn off the water. 
So that's the end for the last activity and my reflection for this activity is clear that simple changes in our daily routines can lead to significant water savings and also critical thinking involves evaluating how these small actions can collectively impact our environment and community. So that's all from me. Thank you.